My name is David Pinadith. I'm the director for social simulation research at USC ICT. Our basic work is trying to build computational models of human behavior. So just as a flight simulator would allow a pilot to practice flying a plane and understand how different maneuvers and controls and situations would play out without having to actually be in a physical plane that might actually crash. We build social simulations so that people who have to make decisions or construct policies that impact people can understand how people are going to react to those policies and decisions without having to actually implement them in the real world. One of the challenges is can we capture the kind of things people would think about in these hypothetical situations? Can we capture the way that the people are observing things, forming some sort of messy summary of it in their heads, and they're looking at all the different trade-offs they have to make and making decisions that may or may not be the best ones for them, but they seem right to them at the time. And then can we have a computational mechanism that can make the same kinds of decisions people would make in those situations? PsychSim is the software system that we've been working on. It's basically a language in which you can encode things like uncertain beliefs, conflicting goals, and what's especially important for a lot of social scenarios is also a theory of minds. My decision making is not just based on what I myself am going to do, but also what I think other people are going to do. And I use my own thinking as a model for how other people are going to think. So the PsychSim agent is going to have a model of its own beliefs and conflicting goals and ways of making decisions in the face of that, it's also going to think about other people in the same way. One of the things that's happening over the years is we're getting more and more real-world data. So the most immediate concern is, is there information out there about what people are thinking, what people are doing, that we can plug into our agent model so that they can simulate that same behavior in a safe space. One of the nice things about using this kind of AI framework is that there are ways of analyzing across the space of possible outcomes in one pass, which means that you've basically laid out a map of possible worlds that you could end up in. And you can look at every decision point and say, which decision increases the likelihood of getting to that desirable end state or not? If we can build simulations of either cities, countries, the world, or even down to just a single classroom, if we can build agents that represent how those people are going to react to different policies, that allows you to make better decisions. If you think about this work as generating an accurate simulation of human behavior, well then there's really no end to the possible uses of it. There's no end to what you could do.